Hello, hello. Hey guys. Uh, so last week we did a quick, um, our first launching leaders video in this week. And again, we're just trying to keep them to 10 minutes or less. So we're just gonna make it quick. But uh, these are topics that you guys asked for, for leaders. Okay, and this one is gonna be avoiding burnout. Um, some of you kind of, you said it in a way of like boundaries with people that you lead or like how can I handle when I'm feeling like there's so many people pulling at me and needing something from me and it's heavy responsibilities and all of that as a leader. So Dan has, we talked this at staff one time, right? I think so. Yeah. Um, so he has 10 signs that you might be close to burnout. So you want to like, if you're taking notes or something, you could write these down or just listen close and see if there's any that, that apply to you as a leader. And just to remind you, you're a leader, no matter where you're at and who you're around, you're a leader if you, because you carry the Holy Spirit and because... Um, people are, are watching your life and you're, you're pouring into people wherever you go. So including your family. Yeah, people can be, um, well, people are, 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 is the greatest commodity that God's given us. Um, the, the, they're, they're the treasures that God has given us to right. minister to or to help. Yes. But yet at the same time, they, people, can be um, very... Um, Overwhelming, and, and they, you know, they can they can create burdens. Relationships mm -hmm. can create burdens that sometimes sap the energy right out of you. So here's what I would say: usually, you get burnt out because of um, overextending yourself with people. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Anyways, yeah. Um, which I'm going to talk a little bit more about if we have time at the end. Yeah. So Just here's a couple people. things. Um, you you know, you're you're near burnout when you are beginning to despise people hmm. and your compassion for them is decreasing. Um, you know you're, you're uh, near burnout when you often think about doing something else. Uh, you know, you, you, you wanna, you just kinda wanna escape, uh, called escapism. Hmm. Uh, how about this one? Uh, you cannot remember the last time you simply had fun with family and friends. Um, you're disconnected at home. Hmm. That's one way that you know that. Uh, you continue, continue to tell yourself that, that those you love that this is just a really busy season and it'll slow down soon. <laughs> I'm it's really, slow really down. busy. I promise. <laughs> but it seems to be, you seem to be saying the same song over and over again. Mm. Um, you're continually obsessed with, uh, becoming obsessed with what others say about you. Mm. Um, so probably pretty defensive. Um, every negative word really affects you. Mm. Um, you. How about you begin to make easy decisions rather than the right ones? Oh, right. Um, you just lose hope. You, you just become, uh, you know, full of despair. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you're experiencing uh, depression, anxiety. That, that's one way that you know you're even overwhelmed. And uh, also you're, you are becoming withdrawn from family and friends. Yeah. So. Signs of burnout. Yeah, I'll just say this and I'll let you go. Um, mm -hmm. But I was thinking of this phrase that if you, if you need people, you can't lead people. And what does that mean? We actually need people. Like God put put us together to work together. But mm -hmm. if we need people that bad, yeah. it's so difficult to lead people because mm -hmm. the way that we are supposed to lead is we're supposed to lead um, ourselves to Jesus first. We're supposed to get everything we can right. uh, by by leading ourselves to Him, mm -hmm. and um, and when that is and is, leading people to Him, other and, people, and leading people, yeah. So <laughs> or pointing them to Him. Yep. So there you go. So there you go. <laughs> Were you going to say something else? No. Oh, it. okay. So yeah, that's what I wanted to um, talk about too. So one of the signs of burnout is like you're becoming cynical. You're kind of just like um, not really compassionate for people. That was the number one thing that he, he talked about, cynicism and bitter, bitterness. Um, but we want to try to lead people well and lead them with love. But um, you can't be everything that the people that you're leading, you can't be everything for everybody. You can't be the answers or the help, the help that they need because uh, you can give them resources and you can point them to the, to the help that they need, but you cannot be that for them because you will burn yourself out trying to be everything for everybody as a leader. Um, 
you are not necessarily the answer. You can't be their, their savior, you can't be their fixer. You have to point people to the answer. You can point people to the, the solution or the resources where they can find the solution, but you cannot be the solution for everything and give them the solution for everything because there's no way they will grow or learn. Like you can't do that for your kids when they're 18 years old, you can't still be cutting up their food on their plate or something like that because they have to learn and grow themselves. So what were you just gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say some people actually thrive on, um, on drama. So, mm -hmm. so you get people that actually create drama mm -hmm. and then you got people that wanna be the, um, the lone ranger to come in and keep fixing people's problems and, and drama. And sometimes those are just things that go on and on and on. Mm -hmm. And I, what I would say about just as far as like people, I, I was thinking you have to learn, we have to learn how to mm -hmm. spend our time with people. So I, I, I kind of put people in three categories. Um, there are people that are, are going to hate you, <laughs> people that tolerate you and people that celebrate you. Right. So the people that hate you, um, you're gonna to want to limit your time around them. They just, they're just, they're never gonna like you, and, and they're not gonna receive from you. And and I know hate's a strong word, but they're just not gonna, they're not gonna, you're not gonna feel love from them. They're no fun to be around. No, and then you got people who tolerate you. Now this is a, a almost a similar group, and they just, they really don't care. They're very indifferent about you. They really don't care about you. Um, they're, they're not going to encourage you when you're around them. They're, right. they're, they're actually going to sap energy from you. Right. They um, take people, life. Yeah, people that tolerate you. But then you have people that celebrate you. So I would say people that you tolerate, you, you can spend time with, mm -hmm. but you have to learn how to do know when to leave. Like, you know what, mm -hmm. time to go because you, you're just going to feel, you know, yeah. it's just you're not, you're not going to get anywhere. Mm -hmm. And then try to, I guess, try to find those few people. Mm -hmm. And Jesus had um, just a few. He right. had 12 mm -hmm. that he got around that that were he was teaching but yeah. but they really did except for maybe for Judas they really celebrated Jesus they were so excited to be around him so you get around people that that you um, that celebrate you right so yeah that helps. It, it does help like that will give you a lot of life if you can be around people that celebrate you now you can't always choose the people that you're leading you might have some people that you're leading that don't really like you or that don't that just tolerate you and, and don't want to celebrate you uh, whether whatever if they're insecure they feel um, threatened by you or your authority or whatever you still have to lead them but you don't have to try to uh, be what they want you to be you don't have to try to meet all of their expectations because people's expectations are gonna be super heavy they're way too heavy for you to carry you can only be the leader that God created you to be with your personality and your gifts and you have to lead them well with love but again you are not the answer you just point them to the solution you ultimately are just pointing them to Jesus a couple of weeks ago or a few uh, like a couple of months ago God spoke to me and he said you are a doorkeeper in my house he did not say that I am the doorway for people or that I need to open the door for people I am a doorkeeper I'm just pointing to the door and the door is Jesus I'm just saying like here is Jesus you guys I point to Jesus I tell them this is the way into the kingdom of God this is the way to healing but I do not have to be that for them I do not have to be the healer I can't be their savior I can't be their fixer I can't be their deliverer I can't be the answer to all of their problems only Jesus can be that so I just take my part as a leader Dan takes his part as a leader we just use our personality and our gifts that God has given us to, uh, to point people to the answer and help them learn and grow and become leaders themselves. Um, and so that leads to what Dan was just talking about. You can't be everyone's friend. Well, and, and I would when say When you're this, leading people, you can't yeah. be everyone's friend. Yeah, like, well, like we, we really do care about oh. everybody. Like we care about them, mm -hmm. but we can't literally care for them. Yes. Like we can't, we, we can't take care of them, right? right. Can't you can't literally take care of everybody, but we do care for people. Right. We, we want to help as many people yes. as we can, but, but there's no way we're just human beings. Right. So, um, so you have to, you're you know, one person, you're just one person <laughs> yeah. and just do, do what God's called you to do. Mm -hmm. Um, but you're not gonna be able to get to everyone. Yes. And there are times, even Jesus showed us that he, he, um, mm -hmm. you know, he was limited in it cause he was, right. he was in a, he was in a bodily form. So a person, right. he, yeah, he, he couldn't do everything for everybody. So right. just learn how to limit yourself. Go to God first. He said, God minister first. to me, right. minister to God, go to God, let him be your best friend. Mm -hmm. And then you have probably got three like Peter, James, and John around right. you that that you're gonna you're gonna be around, mm -hmm. and then you've got some other people 
yeah. around you, family and, and friends you're pouring into. And right. don't try to meet a thousand people's needs. Meet, right. meet like 12 or 15 of them. Right. <laughs> so yeah, you can be everyone's friend, but you can have a few close friends in your circle. So like he was talking about Jesus had the father and he had uh, the, twelve, the three the that three. were close friends. Mm -hmm. Then he had the 12 um, disciples that he was pouring into that might be your staff or something mm -hmm. like that that you're pouring into. Then there were the 70 disciples, um, another larger group that you're maybe giving more information to. Yeah. And then there were the crowds of people that he was teaching, but he didn't have close relationship with them. So you cannot have close relationship with everyone, but you need to first go to the Father. You yeah. can have a few close friends and then pour into the people closest to you, like yeah. your staff or your leaders. Mm -hmm. So anyways, um, those are just a few ways that you can avoid burnout. You guys, let us know what your comments are and go ahead and share that. And then next week, we're gonna talk about how to delegate because that leads right into that. Like That's how right. to delegate, take some of that burden off yeah. of yourself and give it to other people. All right. All right. Take care. Amen. Love <laughs> okay, love you guys.